India have pulled off one of Test cricket's greatest run chases, stunning Australia and winning an extraordinary Test series 2-1. to one. For the second straight Test, Australia's bowlers couldn't do the job on the final day as India chased a record 328 run victory. It is the first time in more than three decades that Australia has been beaten at the Gabba. And joining us now is Channel 7 cricket commentator Trent Copeland. Trent, morning. What, what a... Well, what an hour from 5pm to 6pm was just extraordinary. This Indian team overcame injuries, the loss of their captain and a full strength Australian bowling lineup to win at a ground that nobody wins at except usually Australia. How did they do it? Well, you, yes, good morning to you, Sam. Good morning, everyone. It was quite incredible. Like the rest of the country, I was glued to the TV. I was devastated. I couldn't be at the ground, actually, with the border closures and whatnot. But it was not just India's potential greatest Test Series victory and maybe even Test victory, but maybe even the most amazing away Series victory in Test history by any team. Just think about if Steve Smith and our entire bowling attack, Pat Cummins, Josh Hazelwood, Mitchell Stark and Nathan Lyon were all out yeah. for this match, let alone playing at home but playing away. It was really remarkable and as you said Virat Kohli left after Adelaide so many injuries 20 plus players yesterday was a special day in in the history of test cricket it sure was and let's be honest this was India's b-side really um, what questions are asked now by Australian cricket because the last time the Indians beat us 2018-2019 uh, there was no David Warner no Steve Smith this time they were there what questions do we need to ask about our team yeah, it's a great point, and I think certainly on the flip side, this is the making of some of those players for India. Shubman Gill yesterday, Rishabh Pant, I think will now be heroes in India and be uh, huge parts of that team moving forward. And I guess in Australia's sense, they've got to take a good look at each other and in that change room, no doubt they will have yesterday, on their plans, their tactics, how they execute on day five after they've come up empty on the last two test matches, particularly at home and after winning the toss on both occasions. So, yeah, look, there'll be some tough questions asked between now and the next series, that's for sure. Yeah, I'll bet. Um, Trent Copeland, thanks for all your time throughout all of the, these tests and well done, India, is all we can say, really, Koshi. <laughs>